Hi guys! So I wanted to do my June book haul. It does have some of my May books because I don't really remember if I did a haul in May but just in case I'm doing the books that I know I haven't hauled. So last month and a half. First we have Gris Grimley's, Grimley's? Frankenstein. It's kind of a graphic novel but it uses the original Mary Shelley's Frankenstein story. It is really beautifully illustrated. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of, it, he's very Edward Gorey meets Tim Burton. So I'm really excited about this. I'm already maybe 30 pages in. I don't know if you can see the bunny ears sticking out there. Next, I picked up almost the entire Confessions of a Georgia of Georgia Nicholson series. I had read book one recently and I absolutely love the movie that came out a few years ago so I decided that if I could get them cheap I would. I'm currently on book two which has a lot of content from the movie so I'm really enjoying it and then I'm going to continue reading the rest of the series. Next I got the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making by Catherine M. Valenti. I know that it, it, there's more than one book so I'm really excited to read it. I don't know much about it except it looks fantastic because that cover is amazing. Next is Origin which is part of the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have read book one and book two in this series. I have them on my nook but they had this very cheap at Book Outlet so I figured instead of spending more money I would just get the physical copy of this book. I still have to get book three though but that's all right because this is book four and I do know that there's another book coming out so. This book is definitely from last month because I already read it. I didn't technically haul this book I don't believe because I don't think I had it yet but I, this, I started reading this book the same day I got it. It is amazing. It is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series. I'm quite sure most of you already know how awesome this series is, but this to me was the perfect conclusion for that story. I cried. I was going to do a full review, but I feel like everybody right now is doing a full review, so if you want to know more of my thoughts, it's on Goodreads. Next we have Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo, which is the last book in the Grisha series. I was holding off on reading books one and two until this one came out, and I super marathon them this past week. I finished reading this one last night. It is awesome. This is the story of Alina Starkov, an orphan, and kind of what becomes of her life in this amazing world. I really don't want to say more than that because I feel like it is kind of a spoiler to say more than that so it's really good. I am going to do a full series review hopefully in the next week or so. Next we have Amelia Badilia by Peggy Parrish and pictures by Fritz Siebel. This is one of my favorite books from when I was little and they just released this 50th anniversary edition so I really couldn't resist because I just love her zany weirdness. Next we have Hidden and Firelight by Sophie Jordan. Firelight is the first book in the series and Hidden is the last book in the series. I already have the book that goes here in the middle. It is Vanish I believe. This is a really cool dragony series. I read the first book, Firelight, on NetGalley a couple years ago and I really liked it. So I've been trying to get the books since then but I didn't really want to pay full price and I was able to get these two babies this month on Book Outlet. So I'm really excited because it completes my series and now I can finish reading it. Next, we have three books that I received from the Book Riot quarterly from, I guess, last this past quarter, and that is A Rogue by Any Other Name by Sarah McLean. They were kind of doing like a reasons to read romance uh, thing in that box, so this was included. 
And then they had Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King, which is a book that I've been really wanting to read for quite a while, so I'm really excited about this one. And then they had this book, which is more of a, an adult fantasy, and it looks awesome. And I think I'm going to read it, and the gerbil, which is my husband, that's what I call him, we're both <laughs> going to read it. And this one is The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemison. This one has a really interesting premise, and it is kind of about dreams and people who harvest the power of the sleeping mind. It seems like a really cool story, and I'm really excited about it. Next, we have Unravel Me by Tahera Mafi. I have already read this. I read it on my Nook, but I did not have a physical copy of the book, so now I do. I immediately read chapter 62 all over again. That's right. Next we have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I now have book one, two, and three in the Lunar Chronicles series, but I know that the next book, Winter, is coming out later this year, and I'm not sure if I want to wait or if I just want to marathon these three and then suffer with everyone else. I'm still on the fence about what to do about this. So I, if you've read this series, comment down below and let me know if you think that I should suffer along with you guys or if I should just kind of wait it out and marathon them all once the fourth book comes out. Next, we have a lovely box set of the Legend trilogy. I've been dying to read this series. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. A lot of booktubers say it is their fa favorite dystopian series, so I'm really excited about this, but I really wanted to wait until all of it came out, all three books came out, and Barnes and Nobles had this pretty cheap the other day, so I decided to snatch it up. And this one even has hidden in here like a little gem, Life Before Legend which is like just this little tiny sliver of a book, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna get to this soon. Next, we have The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd, And this is a book that I've had on my TBR for a really long time because if I'm not mistaken, it is kind of a story that takes off of a very famous book which is The Island of Dr. Moreau. And I don't, I've never read the book, but I saw the super weird movie featuring Marlon Brando years ago. And it was one of those movies that was so odd, it kind of just stuck in my mind. So when I read that this book had to do with Dr. Moreau's daughter, I immediately was interested in picking it up. So I finally got my hands on it rather cheaply because it was from Book Outlet, so I'm really excited about this. Next, we have Confessions of a Serial Kisser by Wendelin Van Dranen. I picked this up after I read Flipped by her this last month. I really enjoyed the writing in Flipped, and I like that the books are kind of short so I can read them in between my bigger, more dramatic stories. And I'm hoping that this is going to be kind of more of the same, even though I know it's going to be a different story. I want it to be kind of like light and fluffy. Other than that, I don't know much about it. Next, I got this Story of Us by Deb Coletti. This was, I want to say it was on Book Outlet, but it does not have a remainder mark, so maybe it was not. I heard of Deb Coletti for the first time, actually, the other day watching a video on Jamie and Jeff's channel, Ermagard Ermagard Books. And she did a really good review of one of her books and she basically said that she writes kind of realistic stories that are not just fluffy contemporaries and I really like that. So I decided to give this a chance. So we'll see if I like it. Next, we have Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door. I just read these on my Nook. I completely fell in love with them and had to have them. I like the other cover that were released prior because I like seeing the characters on it. They were like really perfect versions of the characters in the books, but I wanted it to match now when Isla and Happily Ever After comes out, so I got these. I feel like I am going to get a lot of use out of these because these stories are so cute and fluffy that I feel like I'm going to want to read them all the time, especially this one, because this one was my favorite. Next is a middle grade story that I have been wanting to read 
for so long, and that is Liesel and Poe by Lauren Oliver. I am not a huge Lauren Oliver fan. I really tried to read Delirium, and it just did not do it for me. It was one of the only dystopian stories coming out of the time at the time that I just had no interest in. I read it around the same time that I read Divergent. I love Divergent. I'm not a huge fan of the Divergent universe, but I really enjoyed reading Divergent and I felt like the comparison crapped all over it for me because it made Delirium just seem so much less. However, this is a story that I really was interested in when I read the synopsis. It's been so long that I don't really remember much about it. It's about a little girl who gets visited by a ghost when she is trapped in the attic and the adventures that ensue. And that to me sounds awesome. So I'm really excited about reading this one. Next is a book that I already read. This I read, I want to say last year when I was on my big like young adult, new adult contemporary kick. And that is The One That I Want by Jennifer Eccles. I want to say I read about five of her books in that time and this was probably my favorite. I had already read Endless Summer prior to reading this one and then going on my massive binge and I enjoyed Endless Summer but this one was really cute. It's basically just about a girl who has a thing with one of the football players in her school and it's really cute. It's just Good for the summer. Next is The Distance Between Us by Casey West. I read this either earlier this year or at the end of last year and it was cute. It was fine. I feel like it's one of those contemporaries that when I want to read something light and fluffy I will pick up again just because it is about a girl who is taught basically by her mother to not trust anybody with money and she happens to meet a very handsome young man that of course comes from money. So yeah. Next is Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I freaking love this book. I could read this book over and over and over again and I know that another book just came out in this same universe and I want to get it. I just keep forgetting when I go to the store. This is about a girl who starts college and has a really adorable meet cute with the guy who lives in her building and it does have a little bit of, of more significant issues than just a typical new adult love story but it was really good and I will read this again and this is a signed first edition. I don't... I guess she released a bunch of them like that, but that's pretty awesome. Second to last, we have Perfect Ruin by Lauren Stefano. It sounds super awesome. It's basically about, I guess, a girl who kind of lives in the clouds, I want to say. And the cover is beautiful. It has like a lot of really amazing detail. And yeah, I'm excited to read this. I know Lauren Stefano has written another YA series, which I have not read yet, but I'm excited to see what her writing is like. And lastly, we have Princess of the Silver Woods by Jessica Day George. This is part of a series about the, I wanna say the 12 Dancing Sisters, which is like a really famous, or an actually not so famous fairy tale. I read Princess of Glass and Princess of the Midnight Ball already and I actually read them out of order because I read Princess of Glass first years ago on NetGalley. I absolutely freaking loved that story and since then I've been reading them however I can find them and this one is one of the next ones in the series and I'm really excited about it so yeah I think this one is one of about one of the 12 Dancing Sisters mixed with a bit of Little Red Riding Hood, if that wasn't already obvious. So yeah, that's it. And that is a lot of books. So yeah, I would like to say that next month is not going to be a lot of books, but my birthday is on the 23rd, so that would probably be lying. But let me know if you've read any of the books or the series that I plan on reading now that I have them, and let me know your thoughts. Bye!